sending out a message to the world saying that New Zealand is ready and open for people who want to solve the world's biggest problems. It speaks to the sorts of aspirations that young people who are globally connected really want to have. It feels like now more than ever we need more people to do meaningful global impacting work. That's really a, a big drive for, for the people who live here. How can New Zealand play its responsible place in the world? No re ra, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. New Zealand has a, an amazing opportunity as part of this fellowship to actually really position itself as a global leader in the knowledge economy and how we become really that home of entrepreneurism and creative thinking. It's a state of mind shift, it's a different way of being, a different way of taking action and a different way of dreaming. It's not just about bringing the world's best entrepreneurs and innovators, but actually creating fellowships for New Zealanders to be part of this amazing ecosystem as well. This humble man achieved something nobody else had done up until then. Do you know how he did it? One step at a time. That a 33-year-old could climb Mount Everest, and I think that really shows that young people can really change the world, and they can solve some of the world's biggest problems, and what is our Mount Everest of today?